Uh, just a very, very short video here about uh, using Nix under Windows. Uh, I'm sure there are a number of you who have jobs that require you to use Windows to do development or systems administration or whatever whatever you happen to do. And it's not the uh, ideal environment uh, to, to need to run Linux under Windows, but it is workable. Microsoft has, has put an impressive amount of effort into their WSL2 stuff. Uh, Linux does run at acceptable speeds and and uh, you know works works pretty well under under Windows. I was actually super surprised that they made it possible to run GUI apps, you know, X GUI apps. I, I haven't talked much about uh, on this channel about Nix by itself. I've been talking about Nix OS the whole time. Um, Nix by itself is is pretty useful, you know, just to have access to all those all those packages is super useful, but the, the way that Nix is, is used in, in, in those circumstances, there's a lot of Nix env going on. And it feels very imperative. <laughs> For me, if, if I was looking at it, you know, as a new user, I would say, well, why, why, would, I, why would I run Nix under, under Ubuntu? Um, I mean, Ubuntu has a heck of a lot of packages too. I think, I think Darwin users, you know, Mac OS users are more used to outsourcing their Unixy stuff, homebrew stuff like that. So it sort of makes more sense to them that they would replace homebrew with uh, with Nix. Yeah, I mean that 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 path seems seems pretty clear. It's a little bit unclear, I, I imagine, to to users of WSL why they would use Nix by itself. Um, Unless you're already sold on Nix, you know, and in which case you know all about it and you, no one needs to sell you on it. You, no one needs to tell you how to do it. You've already done it. So that being said, I, you know, I, I thought it was interesting how you, how you got the stuff installed, which is just simply the normal ass way you install Nix on anything. I did that in the shell and that's how I got my Nix, my Nix on. I, I honestly, I am a, I'm a kind of a noob when it comes to, uh, using Nix standalone, um, and where it puts all its stuff and where it's configured and, and whatever. Which is why I found it interesting that you can actually install NixOS under WSL. I'm not sure who, who these folks are, but they've made it possible to um, import a distribution into WSL that is NixOS. So you download this installer here. And under a PowerShell or a command line prompt or whatever, uh, and it's called NixOS WSL Installer Fixed. There's two versions of it. That's this is the most recent version from this thing. And then you just basically run this command, except with not with installer targ, with fix installer fixed targ. It puts in your current directory where, wherever you you run it from is where it creates this distro folder here. And at that point, um, you can run NixOS from this command line. You can NixOS. Occurred, oh, my file systems. Okay. I don't know about any of that. But, you know, you can also just stop, stop the terminal, start it again, and then you'll have NixOS here. You know, I installed Emacs through my normal uh, at Etsy NixOS configuration X. Normal environment system packages with packages, and I ran NixOS rebuild switch because I, I had no problems up until I started making the video. It's the demo gods. Um, but uh, I thought it was just kind of interesting. You could run NixOS under Windows. <laughs> sounds sounds insane, <laughs> but it actually, you know, if I were a Windows sysadmin or you know somebody who had to develop on Windows, that I would definitely do that because it would let me keep, you know, I would I would have my my configurations factored in such a way that I could keep you know a common set of packages and configuration. On my Windows machine, then share that with my my Linux boxes, my my Nix, normal Nix OS Linux boxes, 
and that's worth its weight in gold when you have the same set of packages available. You don't have to think about it. I, I, I think this 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 error. I think this error is my fault somehow. I think I may have screwed something up. So don't let it dissuade you from trying it out because it actually did work fine up until I started recording. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching.